Hey, what's up? This is Reed. I have a lot of smart light bulbs to show you today, and many can be found on the shelves of big box stores. There's been a lot of comments on previous videos asking me to check out these bulbs. There's a wide range of smart lights here. Some have higher reviews than I think they should, a few have remotes or dimmers, and some are actually smart filament bulbs. They all work with Amazon and Google's voice assistants. I'll do my best to help you figure out if any of these are worth getting. And if you're still on the fence, I'm making a video with all of my favorites, including the lights from today, as well as the other two light bulb comparisons I've done in the past. That'll be ready in a few weeks, so keep an eye out for that. Okay, the first one is from Fight. You might have seen these at Costco, and that's actually where I bought mine. The brightness is decent at 800 lumens on the white color. It can do warm and cool whites, and they look good. The colors, on the other hand, are not bright. So if you want to use these with colors, I would pass on these. The Fight app also isn't the easiest to use. You have to hold down on the light to change it, which takes way too long. Personally, I would just skip them if I saw them at Costco. Next is GoSun, and these have pretty good reviews on Amazon. They're only about $8 a bulb, which is so cheap. The colors aren't that bad, except for red, which is dull. However, you cannot change the white temperature. For this reason, I would maybe skip this bulb as well, and instead pay a few extra dollars for something like Tekken that can change white temperature. But overall, GoSun isn't that bad, especially for the price. Another bulb that is similar but costs more is Genie. You cannot change the white temperature on this either. The colors look even dimmer than fights, and I would do a hard pass on this one. Hey, do you want this light? Does it have good RGB? Nah, not really. That's my girl. Another really inexpensive bulb is from SmartThings. It uses Zigbee, so you'll need a hub to control it, unlike the previous bulbs that use Wi-Fi. However, using Zigbee will make the light more reliable. Just be aware the light does not change colors or white temperature. It's locked in at 2700 Kelvin, which is too warm for my taste to always be that color. It is dimmable, and $10 for a Zigbee bulb is crazy low, so if you like the color, then it might be worth it for you. Now onto Wiz, which you can find at Home Depot. The first one is an 800 lumen or 60 watt equivalent bulb. It can get really bright and fairly dim. It also has warm and cool whites, which look good. The colors were slightly better than normal compared to some of the previous bulbs I showed, and it's about the same price as them as well, which is great. There's also an inexpensive 1600 lumen or 100 watt equivalent bulb as well, which is about as bright as smart light bulbs go up to right now. It gets very bright at 4 to 5000 Kelvin. It also does warm and cool whites. Plus, it can change colors, and they were surprisingly bright. The only thing to watch out for is the size of this bulb. It's an A21, so it's large. The base still fits normal light sockets, though. Wiz also has a remote that uses RF, I believe, to control the Wiz lights. It can control them even when the Wi-Fi is down. You can control the brightness and select scenes. Also, Wiz has power on state, so you can have the lights stay off if the power goes off and back on. This is a highly underrated feature that you'll be glad you have if your power goes off and back on in the middle of the night. Setting up the Wiz bulbs took some extra effort, and I'm not a big fan of the Wiz app. You cannot see the names of the bulbs without clicking on them. However, Wiz works well with smart things, so automating these lights is easy. One other thing is that even though Wiz is under the Philips umbrella, it does not work with a Hue Bridge or app. I really like Wiz. They're inexpensive, very bright, have a remote, power on state, and are smart things compatible. Next is C by GE, which I have mixed feelings on. There's a lot I like, but also a lot that I don't like. I bought some Bluetooth full color bulbs and some Wi-Fi or Direct Connect tunable white bulbs. The full color bulbs were actually really bright. They only say that they're 760 lumen, but it was one of the brightest bulbs I tested out of the group. It has warm and cool whites, which look good. The colors were very bright, especially the green and blues. Looking at the tunable white bulb, it was very similar. It got really bright and the warm and cool whites were great. The other things I like about C by GE is the remote and wireless switch. In my opinion, the remote looks better than the Wizmo. It also has a rubber grip on the bottom that prevents it from sliding. Plus, it has a magnet. They also make a wireless switch that can replace a light switch or just stick to the wall. Now for the things I don't like. They promote this as a color remote with the bottom buttons. 
those buttons actually only change the white color. So even if you're using this remote with an RGB bulb, it will just change the warm and cool white temperature. I feel like this is a little deceiving, but changing the warm and cool whites is convenient. You cannot activate any scenes like you can on the Wizmo, and knowing which ones are the dimming buttons isn't very obvious. My last issue is the app. It's difficult to use and I accidentally deleted all of my devices at one point, and resetting the lights takes forever. They made a video about how to do it and check out the downvotes. Yikes. The Direct Connect bulbs are starting to be released and they are better than the Bluetooth ones, so if you go with C by GE, make sure to get those. I like the remote and switch, but the lights are not very compatible with other systems like SmartThings, so for that reason I think Wiz would be a better choice in my opinion. IKEA Tradfree is up next. I tested out a warm and cool white bulb and an RGB one. They both use Zigbee, so to control it from your phone, you'll need to connect the bulb to the Tradfree gateway or directly to something like SmartThings, which I did. The tunable white bulb is marked at 1000 lumen, which is very bright, but the warm and cool range is lacking. It can get down to 2200 Kelvin, which looks fine, but the highest cool white tops out at 4000 Kelvin. At that temperature, it's still a little warm, which is disappointing. The RGB bulb is only 600 lumen and it is dim. There isn't warm and cool white control in the SmartThings app with this bulb. So you have to use a simulated white with the RGB colors and it never looks that good. But the colors are actually pretty bright. Not as bright as C by GE, but still brighter than the others. IKEA also has these dimmer switches and remote pucks. You can connect up to 10 Tradfree lights directly without using a hub, which is pretty cool. You can also connect the dimmer and remote directly with SmartThings since it uses Zigbee. They actually work really well and I would recommend getting the dimmer switch, remote, and motion sensor from IKEA if you're using SmartThings. They're really inexpensive and you can set them up to control other lights. I would probably skip on the Tradfree bulb since you can get other Zigbee bulbs like Sengled that work much better and don't cost that much more. Next is a Z-Wave bulb called Illumin from Innoveli. It's the most expensive bulb in this video, but it has a feature you may want. The light can get bright and very dim, about as dim as you can possibly get if that's important to you. It has warm and cool whites as well as RGB colors. Everything looked good and the colors were above average for brightness. Where this bulb stands out is the power on state. If you add this bulb to SmartThings, you can add a custom device handler from Innoveli that will allow you to set the power on state after a power outage. Out of all the bulbs in this video, only this one and the Wiz bulbs could do that. I haven't seen a bulb connect directly with SmartThings and have this feature. Finally, some filament bulbs. These are all really similar, but definitely look awesome. Yeelight and TP-Link have some filament bulbs and they look almost identical side by side. These are the cool white, which is 2700 Kelvin. And if you don't like the orangish looking light, then these are a good option. Wiz also has some filament bulbs and they're all about the same. I tried out the warm and cool white bulbs and they look good. Hue has a filament bulb and I think it looks the best with the spiral design of the LED lights inside. When I was at CES, I saw some Wiz filament bulbs that could change from cool to warm temperatures. This would be ideal and maybe coming to the US in the future. If you're wondering where LifeX, Hue, Yee Light, Nova Stella, and all of those fit in with these lights, then check out my next Smart Light video that will be out in a few weeks. I thought about combining them, but this video was already so long. So if you have any questions about smart lights, let me know down in the comments and I'll do my best to answer them in the next video. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again next time. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. What are you doing? Oh, hey, it's Prime Day. I'm just buying a few more smart light bulbs. Unless you think we have too many.